I can't escape K-pop. <laughs> K-pop <laughs> demon slayers. <laughs> Help! Police! So the first way, what we're gonna do is make our new text. So you can either right click this box, like in the gray section, or you can go up here, click on text, and then spell out the text that you wanna do. So I'm gonna do the word soda. You guys really love this movie. I mean, you guys are eating it up. But after that, what we're gonna do is click on the layer, press S, and then we're gonna scale this up. And then what we're gonna do is align this in the center. So I actually have the line thing right here. And if it's not there, just go to window, and then click this if it's checked off perfect if not click it and it will be checked off but after that i'm going to center this so click this and then we're going to click this but with this font it's a little off so i'm going to move this over just a smidge all right that looks good but after that what we're going to do is duplicate this so Control d or command d for mac and then you're going to double click this layer which is the second one and then you're going to spell your second word or however many you're doing and then after that you should have both layers after this what we're going to do is press t on our first layer which is soda and go forward a few frames out i'm going to click the stopwatch and then i'm going to go forward a few more frames and depending on how long you want it to morph go for like i don't know maybe one or two seconds but i'm going to stick with one but what i'm going to do is change this to zero press enter it should fade out and then if I go to the second layer, which is pop, press T, be at the first keyframe. And then I'm gonna change this to zero. And then I'm gonna click the stopwatch for opacity, go forward to this keyframe. And then I'm gonna change it to 100. And then it should do something like this. But we wanna make this better. So after this, what we're gonna do is pre-compose this. So click the first layer, hold shift, click the bottom one, and then press shift command C. And then this is gonna pop up text morph animation and then i'm going to press ok search for gaussian blur and it should be right here and then i'm going to put this on the layer but what we're going to do is look for the point where it's like like this so in between where it's like blurring between both letters or words change the blurriness to a higher amount uh, we basically want it to be blurred out um so around here is okay click the stopwatch and then we're going to go backwards a few frames and then we're going to change it to zero and then we're gonna go forward a few more frames after it blurs and put it back to zero. If you press U, you can see all your keyframes and it should look something like this, but I'm gonna pull this back some. And then after that, I'm just gonna easy ease these and to easy ease something, just right click one of the keyframes, keyframe assistant, easy ease, and this is optional, but yeah, so it'll pop, period. But then after this, what we're gonna do is Pre-compose this one more time, okay. And then after that, we're gonna search for the effect levels. So we're gonna add that to our pre-comp, go to the part where it morphs. And since we don't want it to be blurry, we want it to be like solid. Like we want the edges to be rougher. So what we're gonna do is change this to alpha, where it says channel, change this to alpha. Wow, that's such a nice name, I'm the alpha. But anyways, what we wanna do is move these close. We wanna move these two points close together and this makes it like solid. And then if we play this back. Whoa, that's so cool, period. But yeah, basically what the levels does is it removes the blur. So yeah, that's how you do it. And if you wanna copy these settings right here instead of moving those levels, these are the settings right here. So yeah, um, depending on your text or however many times you want it to morph, you got something like that. And then if you want, you can go into the pre-comp and you can actually move the positioning up some and then you get something like this and like it actually moves. So I think that's cool. And then one more thing I'm gonna do is just add a new solid layer, put this on the bottom and then I'm just gonna change the color to something nice. And then I'm going to add drop shadow to this. So we're gonna search for the effect drop shadow, add that on there and then change the distance. And then I'm going to change this to 100 for the opacity. And then I can like change the color. And then I'm going to duplicate this, change the color to something else. And then I'm going to duplicate this. In fact, I'm going to add its glow because glow is tough. I don't know about y'all, but I love glow. And then I'm going to change the radius, lower the intensity, and we should get something cool. 
perfect. You're my soda pop, my little soda pop. Okay, now the second way to do this, which is the final way, what we're gonna do is make a new text layer again. And this time, I'm gonna do a particular letter. I'm gonna do the letter A for now. We're gonna align the text just like we did last time. And then after that, I'm going to duplicate this and then do a different letter or whatever. So I'm gonna do B, click this first layer. And then what we're gonna do is make it a shape layer. So we're gonna right click A, and then we're gonna go to create, and then create shapes from text. And what this does is make it a shape layer so it can morph. But anyways, after that, we're gonna right click the B, and then create, and then create shapes from text again. Delete the B, and then delete the A. And then you should have A outlines, and then B outlines. But after that, what we're gonna do is go under A outline, and then we're gonna go under contents, press this drop thing menu, and then you should have these two things. Now, we're gonna go under this, and then this. So the reason there's two like A's, I guess, is because it's like making a shape, and there's different paths. And some letters will have less paths, and some other letters will have more paths. I know, it's kind of complicated, but we're gonna get through this we're on the letter a so we're gonna click the stopwatch for a and we can be at the beginning but then we're gonna go forward a few frames and then we're gonna go to the b outline go under the contents go under b and then we're gonna go into this under this and then we're gonna make a keyframe after we keyframe both paths what we're gonna do is copy these and then paste it under our a path so first we're gonna click this path and then this path and then you're gonna press command or control V. And then what this does is it's gonna warp it. And we don't even need this B layer anymore. And then it does something like this. So yeah, what we can do is keyframe these. I click one of them, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And then we can actually like do a little graph. But yeah, just highlight over this point, go forward over this, move forward. And then we get something like this. But yeah, after that, we can cut this off. And then what I can do is to add like some more ump to it, we can add some blur. So you can either use RSMB or force motion blur. And what this is gonna do is just give it a little bit extra motion to it. So yeah, I think the motion blur helps a lot and period. And then after that, we can of course add a solid layer, put this under here and then we can just add drop shadow to this thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you learned something new in today's video and i hope you enjoyed it but yeah that's the end of this tutorial i hope it wasn't too long not too short but i love you guys so much stay safe and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye my little soda pops okay bye <laughs>